Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys, as well as you ladies, for all that you do, making the Joe Boo Sports what it is. And what it is, I can't tell you. But it is here, and we are in Joe Boo Sports Central, uh, bringing you all the updates and stuff of everything that's going on. Uh, it's been kind of a crazy couple of days here with the beginning of Free Agent Frenzy, as well as Michael Irving dealing with this case. Um, a lot of people had heard, and this is where... People don't necessarily dig deep into the stories. Everybody's in the swipe, swipe, swipe. You'll see the headlines, and you'll assume that that's what it, what's going on. And unfortunately, a lot of things are done to be clickbait, to get you to respond and hopefully get you to stop so that way they can get paid. So when you hear the case has been dismissed, you say, oh, well, Michael, the judge then dismissed the case or Michael Urban's then brought the case down because he realizes he's guilty without actually getting into the, the depth of what's going on. And in reality, what it is, is this is actually a play by the attorneys realizing that the case is in Texas federal court that they actually don't have jurisdiction over the case, but that they use this Texas court that's more friendly to Michael Urban and his attorneys to get leverage to actually get the tape, to try and exonerate them and to have the evidence. Had they gone straight to a, K, a courtroom in Arizona or in Maryland, which is the parent company of Marriott's headquarters or in Bethesda, Maryland, they might not have had the tape, and the tape is integral into proving their point in the court of public opinion that Michael Irving has not done anything wrong. We uh, literally, things are just happening so fast. We had, you know, played a tape where Michael Irving ends up, you know, denying that he would ever say anything like that in public. Um, and now we're actually getting the hotel incident video, in which case I have not seen it yet myself. And I'm watching it with you for the first time. So let's get to it. I'm going to be very friendly. There's some other people actually that I don't know their identity. Take a picture. That guy right there on the left, stop it. And go back 10 seconds. Can you do that? When I talked about the people that were in the back talking, I believe the complaining witness, I believe it's this gentleman here who's some kind of a manager, and then you'll see the witness who's been back come out this side, okay? She's gonna walk way around here to this pole instead of back to where her job would be back that way. Okay, go ahead and roll it. There he goes. She'll come this way pretty soon across the bottom. Also, when she walks up, you'll see she kind of looks around the pole to see if Michael is still coming. You see her just barely duck her head. Here she comes. Okay. So okay. Right there. You see how she stuck her head to the right? Now pause it. Now, she's way ahead of Michael. If she was to continue at her same speed for her job, she should be way over at the bar in a second. But she clearly slows down so that they're going to intersect at that kind of juncture where you have to walk in the bar. So go ahead. This is the shake I talked to you about in the beginning, the opening shake. Pause it. This guy over here with his hands on his hips is the angry manager, okay? If you go back a few seconds, I want him to see what he does with the hand clap when he sees her with Michael. He's going to behind the bar. You'll see him walk out. So focus on him this time instead of on her. We went back a little far. It is not as granular as it should be. Okay. But we got it coming down because here she comes. He sees her back there where he's vectored, and he comes up, the, in, the manager, and you'll see him when he sees her. Watch his expression when he does. See the claps? I don't know what that is. And okay. He comes up here, and you can see he's, he's visibly frustrated at what's going on somehow with her. Now let's take your focus back to Mike with her. As you can see, they have friendly interaction. The body language is good. And they're just talking. She's nodding. In fact, if you see, he keeps more space from him than he does when he's talking to any male at any point in the bar. Some of y'all probably wish he'd keep more space when he talked to you. <laughs> now, 
Guy's pacing, hitting his hands. He's upset over there on the left with whatever's happening. The guy in the gray up top, that's the security guard that's wandering around. He'll, he'll mm. circle around many times around Michael and her. Looks like she's laughing. <laughs> Pause one second. Right? We've been I, going for a while. They're having a lot of conversation. As, as Marriott released in their statement, they said basically, he said one word to her, an offensive, vulgar thing that he did not say, and it's clear from the video and from these witnesses. But they have a very lengthy conversation, and no one's trying to tell us what that is. Go ahead. Mm hmm. 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 That's where she tells some kind of joke, I believe, to him. You seem kind of bend over. She's shaking her head back and forth like that. He walked in closer to her. She didn't back up at all. Now they're shaking hands. Now I want you to watch the end interaction here. Because she's going to kind of, when the people come up, she'll kick her leg. As she walks off, she's still talking to Michael over the shoulder, all friendly. There you go. Kicks her leg. And see right here, she's going to look back over her shoulder and take it with Michael. Now pause it. Pause it. Okay. They claim he was leering at her. When he looks back at the bar, she's way gone. Because you're about to watch, she's going to go over here, and that guy is going to go very, he's going to get very visibly upset with her. And basically, there's somebody who's, I don't want to use the word abusive, but there's somebody who's really being forward to her. <laughs> this gentleman here, it wasn't Michael. So watch what happens. Okay, go ahead and roll the tape. You see him grab her, and she follows that pause. Now Michael's looking over there for the first time. He's not watching her. He's talking to these guys. You'll see in a second they turn around and they start talking to him, the guy in the white hat. Okay, go ahead. See? She's not even in the picture to be leering at. Now Michael walks out to go take a selfie with his, we believe, Renaissance employee, 99% sure. Mm-hmm. And the security guy stays right there with him, who's been around for the whole conversation, really. Hmm. So he took a picture with that guy. Shows Mike where the elevator is. Okay, you can stop. There's nothing else relevant on this. So where's the, he smacked himself in the face three times and said, she bad, she bad. Keep it together, Mike. That, 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 uh, would you like to watch it again? Uh, wow. You're telling me that that interaction was enough of an interaction for him to be kicked off of NFL Network? And ESPN, sorry, you know, that, that Marriott, I can see why Marriott wanted to keep this tape from being brought out. Uh, body, again, I'm not a body language expert or anything like that, but that didn't look like somebody who was fearful or visibly shaken by the conversation here that uh, well but uh, you decide you decide I, I actually want to play that one more time because i'm i'm actually interested myself this is again me watching it for the first time myself i don't know their identity take a picture that guy right there on the left stop it and go back 10 seconds can you do that When I talked about the people that were in the back talking, I believe the complaining witness, I believe it's this gentleman here who's some kind of a manager, and then you'll see the witness who's been back come out this side, okay? She's going to walk way around here to this pole instead of back to where her job would be back that way. Okay, go ahead and roll. There he goes. She'll come this way pretty soon across the bottom. 
Also, when she walks up, you'll see she kind of looks around the pole to see if Michael is still coming. You see her just barely duck her head. Here she comes. Okay, so right there. You see how she stuck her head to the right? And now pause it. Now, she's way ahead of Michael. If she was to continue at her same speed for her job, she should be way over at the bar in a second. But she clearly slows down so that they're going to intersect at that kind of juncture where you have to walk in the bar. So go ahead. She steps back. This is the shake I talked to you about in the beginning, the opening shake. Pause it. This guy over here with his hands on his hips is the angry manager, okay? If you go back a, a few seconds, I want him to see what he does with the hand clap when he sees her with Michael. He's going behind the bar. You'll see him walk out. So focus on him this time instead of on her. We went back a little far. It is not as granular as it should be. Okay. But we got to come down because here she comes. He sees her back there where he's vectored, and he comes up, the, in, the manager. And you'll see him when he sees her. Watch his expression when he does. See the claps? I don't know what that is. Then he comes up here, and you can see he's, he's visibly frustrated at what's going on somehow with her. Now let's take the focus back to Michael and her. Because you can see they have friendly interaction. The body language is good. And they're just talking. In fact, if you see, he keeps more space from him than he does when he's talking to any male at any point in the bar. Some of y'all probably wish he'd keep more space when he talked to you. Mm. That's pacing, hitting his hands. He's upset over there on the left with whatever's happening. The guy in the gray up top, that's the security guard that's wandering around. He'll, he'll circle around many times around Michael and her. That looked like a laugh. Hold on one second. <laughs> the way she rocked. We've been going for a while. They're having a lot of conversation. As, as Marriott released in their statement, they said basically, he said one word to her, an offensive, vulgar thing that he did not say, and it's clear from the video and from these witnesses. But they have a very lengthy conversation, and no one's trying to tell us what that is. Go ahead. some kind of joke, I believe, to him. You seem kind of bend over. She's shaking her head back and forth like that. He walked in closer to her. She didn't back up at all. Now they're shaking hands. Now I want you to watch the end interaction here. Because she's going to kind of, when the people come up, she'll kick her leg. As she walks off, she's still talking to Michael over the shoulder. All friendly. There you go. Kicks her leg. And see, right here, she's going to look back over her shoulder and take it with Michael. Now, pause it. Pause it. Okay. They claim he was leering at her. When he looks back at the bar, she's way gone. Because you're about to watch. She's going to go over here, and that guy is going to go very, he's going to get very visibly upset with her. And basically, there's somebody who's, I don't want to use the word abusive, but there's somebody who's really being forward to her. This gentleman here it wasn't Michael. So watch what happens. Okay, go ahead and roll the tape. You see him grab her, and she follows that bottle. Now Michael's looking over there for the first time. He's not watching her. He's talking to these guys. You'll see in a second they turn around and they start talking to him, the guy in the white hat. Okay, go ahead. Wow. See? Now Michael walks out to go take a selfie with his, we believe, Renaissance employee, 99% sure. <laughs> And the security guy stays right there with him, who's been around for the whole conversation, really. Shows my boy the elevator. Wow. I'm sorry. Um, again, you decide. You decide was anything, and I'm glad I, I'm I'm glad I'm married. 
I'm glad that I don't have to date. This world has gotten to be crazy. You know, you can't go into a gym. If your eyes happen to go sideways, you're being accused of being, you know, a creeper, a stalker, or a, it, it, you know, it, I don't know where to go with this. I don't know where to go with this. Um, you decide for yourself on this one. Um, you know, if Mike, it, hypothetically, let's say Michael Irvin was propositioning her. Hey, you know, you, you look really, really fine. You know, I, I'd like to kind of hang out with you a bit. You know, you want to, you know, it, it, was there anything the the way some people have come at me and said Michael Irving is you know it, and even Marriott Marriott made him sound like he is a wolf just you know ready to pounce that that he leered at her and smacked himself in the face and said I got a kid yeah, yeah. she bad she bad she bad smacked him I got to keep it together I got to get me I'm sorry. I don't see any of that. We'll see where this all goes. It's it's interesting to say the least. Stay tuned, friends. This case just keeps evolving. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, we'll catch you soon.